Hello everyone, welcome to NCBI session and today in CBI session I am going to talk about one of the most important part of NCBI and this is called blast analysis or blast search. So what is blast analysis? We use blast analysis to find similarities between different kinds of sequences either nucleotide sequences or protein sequences and today lecture I will talk about specifically uh, on nucleotide sequences and for this purpose we use special type of analysis called blast in analysis and if you want to find similarities between protein sequences you can use blast p so on this page you can see different sections and i will go through each and every section because actually this is the preparatory page of blast analysis and in on this page you need to upload your input data uh, in sequence form so you can see this first section enter query sequence so and here you can see a small empty box so on this section you need to upload or paste your sequences in different formats like you can use your accession number to search that particular sequence for blast analysis and you can also upload sequences in FASTA format uh, you can choose file from your computer or if you have few sequences or one sequence you can directly paste it here okay for example i'm going to paste a single sequence in faster format okay so this is the first step you need to uh, upload your sequence in correct format the format in c by accepting and down below you can see choose search set so we need to uh, select database for our nucleotide sequences and in CBI we have standard database search engine okay and this is nucleotide collection so here you can see different databases and these different databases used for different purposes but in ours but generally uh, if you want to find similarities between DNA sequences uh, you need to select nucleotide collection okay so if you click on it and if you go through help file you will see the total number of nucleotide sequences in NCBI. So your sequence will, after when you start blast analysis, the NCBI will compare your sequence with these collections. Okay. And down below, the most important part on this page is program selection. So you need to optimize this search, this analysis for your purpose. For example, if you want to find similarities between sequences you got from similar species or from same species, so you will need to select highly similar sequences, mega blast. Okay, so high sim highly similar sequences means if you have sequence, if you have sequences and those sequences are identical, more than 95 percent. Okay, so you can use this option to find similarities between those sequences. So we use commonly highly similar sequences or mega blast. If you have dissimilar sequences or discontagious mega blast will do operation. So in this case, if you have got sequences from different species or across species, so you need to select more dissimilar sequences. So here in this optimization, uh, you will see mismatches. Okay, but in above high similar sequences. Uh, this optimization try to select the perfect matches between sequences okay and when up after selection when you have put your nucleotide sequences in faster format and you have selected the standard database for nucleotide collection and down here you have optimized your program uh, high similar sequences mega blast then you need to click on the blast button so blast analysis will begin and you will see the result of blast analysis of your sequence so i hope this small lecture is useful for you i'll see you in the next video